so let's kick it off with the le- the poll that just dropped um, in Pennsylvania. Insider Advantage is the polling operation. Uh, it's polled 750 likely voters. That's good. It has to be likely at this point. And it's showing Oz plus three. Oz plus three. I You tell me, I've, I've never seen Oz lead in a single poll prior to this one. Well, first of all, Insider Advantage is Matt Towery. Um, He's the one that, uh, for those of you who follow it, uh, is usually on the Hannity show with me. Uh, He's one of the few pollsters that if I don't do it and Matt does it, I feel good about it. Uh, Matt does exceptional work. Uh, He has a very, very, very low error rate. And, um, you know, we had it virtually even the last time we polled it. So, and that was before the debate. So it doesn't shock me. Uh, Oz kind of, you know, had the fundamentals of a candidate who could exceed, uh, you know, coming first. There were some things that he had going for him that were really strong. Uh, one of them, of course, was the his percentage of the black vote was just tremendous. Uh, highest percentage of black women uh, of any Republican we found in the country. And wow. um, so that doesn't surprise me that he had to win over some skeptics. His, his problem was more about likability than anything. And, mm-hmm. I, and I think the way he handled the debate and the fact that, that he, he wasn't mean and aggressive and just trying to keep it about the issues uh, served him well on the personality scale, which is the place he had to win over people. I like Oz. I like him as a person. Uh, I know him a little bit. But I can see how you could find him slick in watching him, you know, from your couch at home in Pennsylvania. He, he's a little slick. And politicians who are slick can be a little... Mm, even if they wind up being the more articulate, the more substantive and so on, I think that's worked to Fetterman's advantage prior now. What we saw on the stage the other night, maybe a little slick still, but the other guy was, you know, non-compass mentis. He was not, we have no idea what the extent of this stroke damage is. All we can see is it's bad. It's bad. And as I was saying the other day, they've misled us. They've tried to perpetrate a fraud on us by telling us there's almost no damage on Fetterman. And then the big reveal came, you know, 10 days plus before the election where we can see, oh no, there's serious damage. Well, and what was fascinating about that is, you know, just you you kind of think about, you know, whether it's historical portrayals or just the kind of things you run into every day, people that are a little slow tend to be good when they're telling the truth, but tend not to be very good when they're having to elaborate or lie. And on the questions when he would really have to be clever and come up with a lie, like, did you ever oppose fracking? That's when you saw his inability. He could, Mm. on the stuff where he could say, tell the truth, he was fine. But on the stuff where he had to hide his position and cleverly word it, he he was falling. So he literally could not be as evasive as he needed to be on the stuff where he's vulnerable. And he, here's what the uh, the poll shows. They asked who won the debate, and 53%, 53.6% said Oz won it. Just 20.5% said Fetterman won it. 25.9% were undecided. I assume those are Democrats who just don't want to admit reality. Um, and they're showing now that uh, just a couple of interesting things. Oz holds a 2.7-point lead over Fetterman. Um, totally, to, in total, he holds a two-point lead with white voters. He holds um, a lead amongst the 18 to 39-year-olds. He has a 14-point lead with the 40 to 64-year-olds, and he's pulling in nearly two-thirds of independent voters, 65.9%. But um, what happens at the top of the ticket in Pennsylvania matters for Oz and you tell me whether that's going to wind up sinking him because the Democrat is heavily favored. Yeah, yeah the, the governor's right there. And that's what I've, I've literally been saying for weeks is that if Mastriano had received half the support that any Republican nominee gets, Mastriano would be within four or five of winning and Oz would be winning. But to mm. receive so little support is actually hurting Oz. Uh, yeah. But, you know, ticket splitting is is one thing. It really just kind of depends on how they structure their ballot. Uh, I'm not sure what the answer is in Pennsylvania. A lot of states put your federal races first. So it might be that, oh. you know, the governor's race is, is after when they vote on the Senate race. It's not uh, top of the ticket. Yeah. It might, you know, it, 
it just depends on how, how they structure their, their ballots. But I think it is it is damaging. But what we are going to see is, and most of these polls, Shapiro is at 50, 48, but he's not at like 52 or 53. And if there is somebody out there right now with a kind of a hidden shy vote, it's Mastriano. There, wow. he, the grassroots uh, around him are very, very engaged. So, again, I don't see Mastriano at this point winning, but I think he's going to close a lot and shock people. And if he closes as well as I think he can close, Oz probably will be okay. You know who doesn't have spooky meats? Good ranchers. They deliver America's best meat and seafood to you year-round. No costume of labels, no gimmicks, just great meat that shows up right at your door. Their October feast special just got even better. You can get up to four pounds of meat for free. Think about that, four pounds. That's that's a lot. That would cost you a lot in the grocery store. Order any box and get over two pounds of their better than organic chicken breasts for free. And if your order is over 300 bucks worth of delicious meat, you will also get two pounds of their Wagyu ground beef thrown in there too. Mm, treat yourself. Head on over to goodranchers.com slash Megan, and that's how you will claim your special October feast of four free pounds of meat today. Join the tens of thousands of Americans getting 100% American meat delivered right to their door. Store-bought meat can be tainted with scary bacteria, and it has ghoulish inflated prices to boot. Good Ranchers lets you save $25 on every box and lock in your price when you subscribe. Put an end to your meat buying nightmare by visiting goodranchers.com slash Megan to get over four pounds of high quality beef and chicken for free. The real monster is not under your bed. It's actually in your fridge. Take control over your food with an October feast from Good Ranchers. American meat delivered. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.